Alrighty. I'm thinking we need to upgrade some trains. We have a bunch of tools sitting here in Indianapolis that need to get moving to wherever they go. They go down to Greensboro. And we have a bunch of planks. There's so many tools. Ooh, hello. We got a freighter. We got some new trains. That's interesting. That looking like a new passenger train. Because I want to do some stuff with that as well. But we have so much wood and so much, uh, so many tools that we need more trains. So what I'm thinking we could do is one of two things. We can either just get more trains or we could just make this one bigger because this moves goods and it moves plastic, both of which go in the box cars. So if we go to here and we say manage these vehicles, edit selected vehicles, I mean, we could say get rid of one. We, I mean, they're mediocre performance wise. So maybe we take hold on let me let me do this let me do it this way we will uh we'll edit one we're gonna go into locomotives because we did get a new locomotive between episodes right we got the big chungus the actual big chunk it's a big boy but it's chungus all right so it can do 81 miles per hour has a lot of power it's quite expensive but i'm thinking we do it i'm thinking that goes in there and I'm thinking we add on some of the flat cars with stakes until it says this thing is mediocre, which is apparently going to take quite a while. There we go. So that's uh, going to be a train that is 490 meters long. And it's also going to be 25 million to upgrade it that way. We added quite a considerable number of good Lord of flat cars. So let's do it, is what we're going to do. Uh, that is an incredibly long train, but that should be all right. I think it will fit in the station just about. So we'll make it orange. We're going to get rid of the other one. So we're going to sell train six. And then we're going to duplicate train five, which cost a lot of money. And there we go. So that is hopefully going to solve the problem with all of the planks being left here. And it looks like it uh, pretty much did. So just how long is that train? It can at least fit in the station and then it can at least get back out. And that is not bad. I don't know where the other one is. Oh, there's the other one, I think. Yeah, so that's going to be going where it needs to go. That is potentially going to be way too much. That's going to be, that's two trains. They're both absolutely enormous. That might be way too many trains. Two, two, one too many two trains one too many uh that might be too much but we'll find out in terms of the tools i'm thinking we do something similar with um all of these trains so if we're going to manage vehicle we only have two on this line so i think we go in i think we edit this vehicle i think we take that out i think we add in we could add this in i'm not going to say we do that i'm thinking we we could do electric this one can go up to 99 miles per hour the wagons can't though it's really tempting to do this because I did go around and I did upgrade all of my tracks to be high speed, but they're not electric. So eh. I guess what we'll do is manage vehicle, modify, take the wagon out. We'll throw the big boy on there. And then we need more box cars is what we're going to need. So let's do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. It is a 455 meter long train. Let's just go up to 490. Uh, or not, actually. Let's go down a little bit so this doesn't say mediocre. Uh, we'll maybe take one of those off. And that, uh, you guys don't... Wait a minute. Why did I add... Did I add flat cards, box cards? Hold on a minute. What am I... I'm, I'm a little... I'm, I'm confusing myself here. We need box cars, not flat cars, right? So edit selected vehicle. Box cars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. That should be fine. Take the train out. Throw the big boy in there. It's 455. It's mediocre. Take a box car out. We take two of them. So that'll be fine. Right? So we're adding eight box cars to it. It's a 431 meter long train. That's fine. It's $20 million to do that. So we'll do that. We'll get rid of the green one. So we'll sell it. Which got us a couple of million back. We'll duplicate you, which cost about 40 million. And then we'll make it bright green. And that's the RGB thing that we're going to be going for a little bit later on. So that's a super long train, but that should then be able to move a bunch more of the tools at any one time. 
is my thinking. I'm also thinking I want to go to the Indianapolis to Tempe line. I want to go to manage uh, vehicles on that line, not manage uh, line itself. And I'm thinking we can replace these trains with a multi-unit diesel with this one. It might not be a bad idea, although I think that's actually more of a that's a that's a body for a train, isn't it? That doesn't actually carry anything. And then the passenger wagons would be that one. I'm not quite I'm not actually quite sure. What do you what do you do? So you you carry people you. Oh, that's a boost. OK, so that's a booster. So we don't want that. OK, that's weird. Right. So passenger diesel so diesel you. 117. Let's see what this would be like. So we put that in there. It's quite expensive, but that's okay. Then passenger wagons, I guess, would be... I mean, that can carry more, but this is more recent. So one, two, three, four... Let's say five of them. And then do we throw this at the end? Or is that that's just a multi-unit booster? So that would go at the front and that'll be able to push or pull in this case better, I would assume. So it's currently mediocre. But we could do this up to like we could keep going a little bit on this and keep it mediocre for a while. So we go up to like 216 capacity, 234, 252, 270. It's still mediocre. So we could have some massive, massive trains here. But then the question becomes, do we need them? Because this can do 93. That locomotive can do 117. So these would actually be very fast passenger trains as well. Um, We might actually want to do that. It's going to be 31 million to replace that train. Let's do that. Let's make it purple. And then I want to sell the other two. All right. So we're going to sell those completely. Get some money back. Uh, we'll go to this train. We'll see what it looks like. It's going to be... Uh, it's not that bad, honestly. It's it's very noticeably... I mean, those that, that's, that's the engine up there. But it's a very, very long passenger train. But I'm pretty sure it has that entire line to itself. And it's going to be faster than any of the passenger trains that we've had before. So in theory, this thing should... I mean, the frequency should still be pretty decent. Would be my thinking. So hopefully that plays out for us. Hopefully we don't end up losing a shed load of cash because that is a train that costs us uh, 6.1 million a year. So hopefully the planes will kind of keep things up for us there a little bit. That would be my thinking. That would uh, that would be my thinking that they uh they keep things going for us just a little bit um i am noticing it's probably gonna hang out of the station a bit far it does so we're gonna need another another crossover there so let's go in and let's say that spot you can cross over and that should be all right so that train can get in there it flips around actually it seemed to be okay there which is all right and it seems like generally we are going to be moving more stuff we have a lot of these passenger trains coming and going, which is fine. They are making not very much money at all, actually, which is a bit of a worry. 42 people on board there. Six people on board there. I wonder if we could get rid of some of these trains, because we probably don't need that many. It's a three-minute frequency, but... I mean, how many of them are actually carrying all that many people? So let's maybe get rid of two of them. And see if we can save a little bit of cash there. And then I want to see one of my giant trains come back up here. I want to see how they're doing. So where are we looking? There's one of the... Uh, yeah, there's one there. So what are you carrying right now? 206 on the old oil front there. And then going in, going to be completely filling up on uh, an oil, which is not bad. We should have the red one down here. We do. That red one's probably going to be stuck, actually. Just, uh, actually, no, it's not. It can merge over there. Uh, so you are loading up on fuel. Quite a bit of it as well, which is good. 
And then you're going to be heading back. So that should be okay. That should, by all means, be able to make some good money at some point. So that's kind of cool. Green one's going to make some good money too. I do like doing this. We didn't do enough with giant trains in the first map that we did for Transport Fever 2. So this is kind of cool having just enormous trains going around. Especially when we do have enough resources lying around to actually make it worthwhile. Like we are losing tools. We have that many of them. So it's kind of cool seeing this sort of work out. Now let's go have a little look over in uh, in this direction because I'm realizing uh, where is the... So that train is on the correct side of the track, which is good. Just making sure everything's where it should be. Uh, planes. How are the planes doing? Got a few machines lying around. Not bad. Uh, food is being produced. Does Hollywood actually have food then? Is it getting it? It is. So that's actually happening. Uh, Hartford should be getting tools. It absolutely is. It's not getting that many, but it's getting some. So that's happening. All right. That's good. Uh, then in here, we have 125 planks sitting about. The giant train is... Is that it there? That is not it. That's our steel train, so it's doing all right. Uh, giant train, I assume, is going to be on its way back at this point or just pulling in over here. Yeah, it's just pulling in. So 125 and it's just getting to its final destination there. So I assume by the time this train gets back to where it needs to be, there's 22 million. I assume by the time it gets back to where it needs to be, there's going to be over half of its cargo waiting to go already. So that's good. So things are kind of working out for us in uh, in that regard. Uh, steel here, there's 317. And I think this train can carry 300. So it's going to be leaving as soon as it gets back to, uh, to Detroit. And thinking about it, Detroit needs tools. And it needs bricks. What can you carry? You can carry bricks. Can we get bricks to Hollywood by any chance? Because that thing goes in there. So if we were to get bricks to Hollywood, we could move bricks to Detroit and have that line make money going in each direction. It looks like we'd have to maybe move them to Cape Coral, though. And then have the train actually make a stop in, uh, in Cape Coral to pick up the bricks. But that is possible. I mean, you production-wise are doing decent. There's plenty of leveling up to do there. Uh, got any plenty more stone, I think. So... I think that's what we do, honestly. We have a we have a quarry over there. So let's start doing that. Let's let's start doing that. Let's figure this out. So uh, let me disconnect this road a little bit. Let me go in with a medium country road. Have it go straight through that forest because I am a terrible human being. Uh, straight to there, and then we're essentially going to have it go. Uh, I'm guessing way out that way, right? So to there. And then down to there. So that'll kind of work. We could do a little cross over here as well. Which I think might be a decent little idea. So have you just run into that road. And then yeah, we'll bring... Uh, stone from that quarry to Wichita Construction, and then the same trucks can bring the bricks to the station, then pick up the stone, and then go back. So we'll just do one big loop for all of that, and that will be stuff that we can pick up and take back to Detroit. So the train's not going to be full from Hollywood, but it'll be full from at least Cape Coral. Uh, so let's set that up, I suppose. Uh, let's go to Lines, and we're looking for Detroit Steel to Hollywood. After Hollywood, you want to go into there, which apparently you can't do, which is fair enough. Um, okay, we can fix that. Hold on. Uh, so we need to go in and do train tracks. It needs to go from there to there, and that should be all right. You can maybe put a, a signal there, put a signal there, and put a signal there, and that should help things a little bit. So can that line now do that? It can at least merge over. It might need a different platform. Because we want it to use that same line that the green train is on. So that might need a way to look back over. Or alternatively, just connect there. Thinking about it. I'm an idiot. 
We don't need that at all. Um, let's just be a little lazy, is what I'm thinking. So you're going to go to there. And you are going to go to right about there, I think. Do they look a little bit close together? They are a bit close together. Uh, that is not quite where they're supposed to be. So to there. And then that should let them through, and then that should be able to merge back across, right? Yeah, there we go. So that can merge across, then go about its business, etc., etc. We are going to want to put a signal there, I think. Somewhere like, somewhere like there. And uh, somewhere like there. But that should be fine. So we can set all that up. They can pick up bricks, etc., etc. So we want to go in and manage the line. It stops there on the way back. That's fine. And we're going to say... Wait until full. And you are picking up bricks. Is what you're doing. So that'll be fine. So then in Detroit... You are loading up on steel. You are unloading bricks. Then in Hollywood, you are not loading anything, unloading steel. So that should work, right? That will be a way to make a little bit more money from the same train just by moving some bricks from there to Cape Coral. Is me thinking. I'm kind of excited for this. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm kind of keen to see if this works. Let's get ourselves a truck station. I don't think it's going to need to be a, a huge one. So we can be a little cheeky and just do, uh, I think, just a single platform, probably, is all we're going to need. And we'll throw it uh, about there should be fine. We can extend it for sure, but just a single little platform for the stone. And we should be able to uh, get a lot of stone going off there. So... That goes from there to here, where we can drop it off and pick it up at the same time. So I think this will need configured a little bit. Uh, so cargo. We'll just extend this back slightly. And that's that sorted. And I guess we could maybe do a road on that side as well. But I think we're okay. I think... Uh, well, maybe. Let's, let's configure it. Let's do a bit of street access. Just... Uh, there wouldn't be so bad, I suppose. And then just a simple little road going up to it. So streets and medium country road, something like that. And that should work, right? So that'll be our connection for bricks coming in, bricks going out. That just needs to go to Cape Coral right there. So we can set all that up in one go. So we go to new line. We go from here. We go to there. Which loops around in a really, really weird way looking at it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's exactly what I wanted, but I'll take it. That's probably not going to be a disaster at all. And then we want this to go into Cape Coral to there and then back. And that's going to be a cargo line. It is stone to brick uh, to Cape uh, Coral. And that'll be okay. And that's it. That's all we need to do. We All we needed to do was add the train stop Train stop to train station stop, whatever it is. The train line stop to Cape Coral Station. A little bit of track and then just a single truck line. And that should be everything, right? That that should be. So let's get some trucks. I want a lot of them because I want a lot of bricks. We do have some new trucks as well, so we can have a lot of fun here. Unfortunately, the new trucks... I mean, we're going to need to use this one. But it can carry 14. This one can do 16, but it can't carry stones so or whatever. Let's just use this. And I want 20 of them right off the bat. Uh, and it's a purple line, so make them that color and set them on uh, cargo. So what was it? It was stoned brick to Cape Coral is what it was. So it's that one. Right. So we'll send them out. We'll let them do their thing. And in theory, that should do some good stuff for us. My worry is that this isn't necessarily going to produce enough right away, though. Because this is technically getting a lot already. That that would be my worry. Also, terminals. Yeah, we do have some stuff there. So this is already producing... Eh, it's got a bit of stone in there. It could be producing a little bit better. We'll see. This might pick up. Might pick up. We'll see. I'm not 100% not sure. Either way, they can do their thing. Um, we could probably do with a bit of a wider road there. 
to stop traffic from going super crazy. So let's just bulldoze a little bit. And then let's just do... Not quite that, but something like this should be totally fine. So that way traffic going left can... I mean, they're turning around, but traffic that's like going left has a left turn lane. So that should be all right. Yeah, that'll work. That'll that'll totally work. And that'll stop traffic from being an absolute nightmare is what it should do. So you guys are all going there. You don't have um, you don't have 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 any bricks. So you're not going to be dropping anything off. But that's all right, I guess. And then you guys are sort of producing. It'll be fine. It'll pick up is is what it'll do then detroit detroit can get its bricks and that'll be fine so that's that's exactly uh what we want i think i i think sorry i'm i'm stuttering i'm trying to think this through and just make sure in my head that it makes sense that i'm doing the right thing because yeah i don't want to get it wrong um also machines to tempe we could probably duplicate that and get four vehicles in that line and since that seems to be working out quite well for us there i don't know why there's tools in there though that's a little bit weird but sure, I guess. I guess we're taking some of those to uh, to Tempe is what we're going to be doing. Oh, also, if I'm not mistaken, if we go to my uh, cargo airline, which should be down here somewhere. There it is. Uh, CA. Uh, oh, I need to go to the line manager, don't I? Okay. So in here, CA, this line, manage the vehicles in the line. We, I think, can maybe do some upgrades here. So if we go to cargo, we have the Bristol Freighter, which can carry a little bit more and go a little bit faster than the Junkers. It also, it loads at the same speed. It wasn't in service quite as long. I really want to use the Douglas C-49 Skytrain, but only as one compartment. So... Let's use the Bristol Freighter. It's 18 million to replace all of those. It's not quite as nice of a, an aircraft, in my humble opinion. But it can carry more, so that's kind of what I think we need. And that's kind of going to be a good thing. So that'll hopefully do some good stuff for us. What does it even look like? It's, uh, that is a ridiculous looking plane, I'm not going to lie. It, it is. I'm, I'm sorry to anyone that... You know, uh, they're be you know, if you're if you are a Bristol Freighter or if your best friend is a Bristol Freighter, I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend, but it's a ridiculous looking plane. All right, I'm just, I'm just, I've got to be honest. I've got to speak my mind. Is is what I've got to do. Anyway, are you loaded up with bricks? You've got two. That's fine. Is production here okay? It seems like shipment could be a little bit higher. Production's pretty good, though. We just need to get that shipment level up ever so slightly, which makes me think that uh, going in here, managing those vehicles, we can go in and just replace these all with the truck with side stakes. Actually, what are you guys... Wichita bricks. Are you just moving bricks? Let me have a look here. So manage line... No, you aren't. So you're picking up the stone as well. So you guys need to be upgraded to uh, the generic tarpaulin truck. So replace all of you with just the generic tarpaulin truck, bright red. And uh, that should speed up the shipment a little bit. I would imagine. And let's know, is that the shipment of goods coming in? Because that might need improved as well. So what if we were to go in, manage vehicle, select five of them, duplicate, go in here, manage vehicle, select one, two, three, four, five, and duplicate. Does that improve the shipment at all? It doesn't seem to. So maybe that's not what the shipment level thing is about in the slightest. Which is a little bit annoying, but we'll figure that out because I do want this to level up. I really do want that to level up. So we'll see. Either way, we should see some bricks getting loaded onto this thing at some point. You can move bricks, right? Just to double check. Yeah, you can. So there we go. So now it's getting loaded with bricks. Um, let's manage the line. Have a train filled with at least 200 passengers. Oh my God. 
They didn't know. I, apparently, that line is working overtime. Uh, so in Cape Coral, you're going to wait about... Let's have you wait for five minutes. Is what we'll do. And we'll see. Then let me go look at that other passenger line. Because it is going a little bit crazy, isn't it? So balance-wise... Uh, that's it there. So 270 people are on that train right now. There's 270 passengers on that train. It's completely full. And there's 56 that are still waiting to get on the train to Cape Coral. So something tells me we could probably duplicate that train and get another one. So let's take that chance, I think. I, I think we take a chance. I, I think we try it, right? We try it is what we do. Let's see where that train is. So that's that's the one we have here. Train 7 is up here. Which is actually a good thing that it's up there. Because that means it's going to be dealing... It's it's at the other end of the... The other end of the line. That's exactly where you want it to be. And then we have 114 people waiting to get on the line there. So that's really good. That train is super expensive, by the way. Uh, that was... It's valued at about 40 million is uh, is what it's valued at there. Which is uh, which is all sorts of crazy. So fair play to it. Being uh, being all that expensive and whatnot. Let's just make sure it's getting on the right line. It is. Okay. So that's gonna start picking a load of people up. Which is good. That's that's what we want to see. I'm actually I'm really pleased about that. Okay. So the plane's been upgraded, the Bricks are hopefully going to get produced. You are so close to getting that shipment level up a little bit. So close. I wish it would just pick up even further, but whatever. That's that's fine. It's just the way it is. Um, both of the quarries are supplying it. So I guess we just need more, right? Uh, down here isn't really producing all that well. Is this quarry working overtime? Uh, not really. The bricks line is... Uh, I, I don't know, looking at it. Production-wise, you're maxed out. And production-wise, you're apparently maxed out. I think that's a lie. I don't know. I don't know, maybe this will level up at some point. 148, we'll see. I, I still have no idea how the shipment thing really works. So I don't know. Let's just manage this line again and say, uh, just go whenever. Just load up with whatever's available. Because I know for a fact the steel down here is, I mean, there's 423. So we could arguably get a second version of that train as well. But if we don't start moving the steel, we're going to start losing the steel, which is not what we want, so we'll see, I guess. I need to, I honestly need to start doing a little bit of research into this, I think. Because I, I wish when you hovered over shipment, it would be like, here's what that means. But it doesn't do that, so I don't know. I think it is trying to level up a little bit. It's, it's trying to get to 149 there. I've been saying that for ages, haven't I? I've been saying for absolutely ages that we need to do some research into what shipment means. I think we actually need to do it this time. 